Hi, we're going to show you how to work with the inputs of the Acquire Sound Express VI. We'll start off with a blank VI in lab view. And we'll go straight to the block diagram and pull up the sound, Acquire Sound Express VI. It's under Programming, Graphics, Sound, Input, and it's this Acquire Sound block. Now once you put that into the block diagram, this configuration has all the defaults. Uh, as you can see, the device is set to the built-in microphone, which is our only option right now, but later this semester we'll have more with external mics and such. Uh, the number of channels is set to two, which is stereo and pretty much the standard, but you can also do mono input by setting it to one. The resolution is set by uh, default to 16 bits, which is pretty standard for audio acquisition. Um, you can choose to set it to a higher resolution if you need higher resolution or higher quality data. You can change the duration of the Acquire Sound VI, which is basically how much sound it'll acquire over time. It's set by default to one second. And you can change the sampling rate, which is set to 22 kilohertz. And you can either use this slider over here or just input a sampling rate in here. Finally, you have the option to preview um, the capabilities of the Acquire Sound VI just by hitting preview, and it'll plot out a waveform of what it heard for that one second. Now, when we're back in the block diagram, and you can actually drag down and see all these same inputs on the Acquire Sound Express VI. Um, so if you right click on each of the inputs, we're going to add um, some controllers. And once you've added that controller, if you go to the front panel, you'll see that it pops up there with the default, with whatever you had left it set on the configuration. So we'll go through and make controllers for the rest. Now the error is not in the configuration window. That is a pretty standard uh, feature in most lab UBIs. All it is is to allow for an error in and an error out. So if something happens earlier in your program, it um, communicates that to the rest of the program and lets it just go to whatever error message you need. Okay, so we're going to So now that we have all of our control inputs set up on the front panel, we want to be able to look at any waveforms that we record. So let's go to um, the waveform graph on the front panel, and that'll pop up in the block diagram, and we can just drag the data output directly into the waveform graph so we can look at any audio that we acquire. Now, like we said, on the front panel, all the controllers end up with the default values. Now, uh, zero is the default for the built is your system default, which is the built-in mic. Um, two is stereo, which we'll stick with for now. Um, and resolution 16, that's very standard. So we'll show you how to change things by playing with the duration of the sample rate. So we're going to start with the duration of four seconds, and we'll go to a sample rate of 11025, which is commonly, it's commonly referred to as 11 kilohertz, but the actual rate is 11025. And we can run the VI. Test, check, test. There you go. We've captured four seconds at 11 kilohertz. So why don't we try it again? When we go with stick to four seconds, let's up that to 2250, 22 kilohertz. Check, test, check. Okay, cool. So now we've got a uh, signal at the half the standard rate. Let's go all the way up to the standard audio rate, which is 44100. Test, last check. And there we go. We've sampled audio at three different rates. We've shown you how to uh, play with all the inputs on the um, Acquire Audio Express VI and then graph it to a waveform graph. Have fun with it.